We're gonna talk about the best USB hubs, what makes a good USB hub, why you should get one. If you guys are interested in hubs, I highly recommend you stay tuned to this video because you will not regret it. All right, let's take a look at some USB hubs. All right, so normally what happens is you try to get a machine and you realize it doesn't have the right types of ports and it becomes kind of very troublesome scenario because you don't really know exactly what ports you need, but you know that you're not going to have a fair amount of ports. The solution is to get a USB hub that can pretty much do everything for you. The idea behind getting a hub is that it helps you connect things to your machine that you can't normally connect. And what happened was the industry went through a shift. We started seeing USB-C ports on everything as opposed to the normal ports we're used to. What this means is you can't plug in most of your devices. This is a problem. It's a problem because we're not really ready to just use USB-C. Fortunately, USB-C has very good expandability. That means you can plug a lot of things in, you can extend the life of one port, can become many different ports. That's the beauty of USB-C, that's the beauty of Thunderbolt. But because of this, we do need a hub. Take a look at some hubs and see which hubs are the best. I do have a recommendation that I will be talking about and I think this hub you guys will really appreciate. Also, because these guys are bringing this hub to the market just recently, they are heavily discounting the hub, which means you guys can save tons of money. You can save up to 40% on this hub, which is very impressive. So let's take a look and see what hubs there are and what this hub is offering. So you'll clearly see why this hub is better. So currently what we have going on here is I have a hub that's plugged in. This is an older hub. I'm actually about to discontinue it, but um, I need a hub because I have various USB things that I plug in. Well, I have a keyboard that, that plugs in here. As you can see, it's right here. And then I am also constantly plugging in SD cards because I, uh, do video editing and this is this is for sound and so I plug that in and then occasionally I'll use the uh, the ethernet when I'm using a laptop that doesn't have ethernet this is super useful but one thing this hub doesn't have is it doesn't have HDMI the things that make a hub good are the right selection of ports because you absolutely need to have the right selection of ports without the right selection of ports you really can't do much we've got three USBs this is phenomenal. I also really like the fact that they put one on the back. So sometimes you end up plugging a lot of things in that will collide into each other. And so it becomes kind of troublesome and annoying because the USB device is big. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so take a look at this example here. These are for SD card readers. And you see how this one in the center is taking up the, this port right here. Well, that's an issue. And because they're so close to each other, it can make it difficult to plug things in. This is something you see with a lot of USB hubs, but on this hub, you also have a port on the back. So if you are plugging in something thicker, you don't have to worry about it blocking too many things off. So let's take a look and see how that works. As you can see, even though I've plugged something in, it's not blocking off any of these ports here. This is great news, it means that I can use my SD card for my audio. And then when I'm ready, I can plug in my video as well. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and plug that in. There we go, it's in there nice and sturdy. So as you can see, the spacing is really good with these ports, I really like that. Um, this one is also dedicated for fast charging, which is nice. You can in theory charge from all these other ports as well, but um, it just won't charge as quickly. All right, so I went ahead and plugged in everything into my hub. So right here I have my uh, mouse plugged in. This is my wireless dongle for my MX Master mouse, as you can see right over here. Really like this mouse, pretty awesome. And then I have my black lightning cord plugged in. This is something you get when you buy a Mac Pro. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome little cord. And then I got my wireless dongle for my Corsair headphones. This is when I'm gaming. I like to be wireless so I can get up, use the bathroom, do whatever I want, that kind of thing. Pretty awesome. And then um, over here I have the uh, 128 gig card for my video. And then I also have my uh, Transcend 
32 gigabyte uh, for my audio recordings also plugged in. I got a fair amount of things plugged in to this hub and I'm gonna go ahead and test it out here real quick. The two other ports that I really like are the uh, HDMI and the ethernet. Really appreciate that. We're gonna go ahead and get it all plugged in and see how well it works. Bye bye old hub. Farewell. You've been awesome. Farewell. Oh yeah, a hub with lights on it. Definitely don't buy hubs that have lights. It's extremely annoying at night. You don't need it. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay, I went ahead and unplugged the USB charging cord and instead plugged in my uh, keyboard. And so I got that plugged in there. And I just, I use a milk crate to prop up the computer. So while I'm sitting, everything is properly aligned. And um, well, you know, you need a good chair too while you're at it. And so I got my head perfectly lined up with the screen. And so that's kind of why I have this specific setup here. And we're gonna go ahead and utilize this hub. All right, let's make it happen. All right, I should probably plug in the ethernet as well and then also plug in a monitor let's do that all right we're gonna go ahead all right we are plugged in now let's go ahead and get our monitor going here my compute stick all right compute stick we're gonna connect something else into you got ourselves an hdmi cord let's make this bad boy work all right get this plugged in all right okay it's in there Alrighty. Alright, compute stick. We're just gonna set you down over here. This is just an extender. Alright. Da -da. It's plugged in. It's plugged in. It works. Awesome. It's working. Cool, okay. Now let's test out the headphones. All right, power these bad boys on. All right, seem to work. Okay, cool. All right, let me test out the sound. Yeah, yeah, it works. I can hear it. Sweet. All right, mouse works, keyboard is glowing. That means it is connected. Awesome, okay. Let's try typing some stuff. Yeah, typing seems to work. All right, and next test out the the cards to see if the data transfer rates are actually fast because that is a problem with hubs so the issues that we run into with hubs is that they claim to be certain speeds when in reality they're not usually they'll say usb 3.0 but they're not like for instance my old hub my old hub promised they promised usb 3.0 uh, speeds and uh, yeah, it, di it didn't happen. It, I didn't get the 3.0 speeds, which really sucks. Now, I know that it might not have those speeds all the time. Like I might only be able to transfer uh, from one SD card at a time. That's my guess. But we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see how well it actually transfers it to see if the speeds are decent. Because sometimes you get a, you get a, uh, a USB hub and it's 2.0 speeds. So you're waiting for like 30, 40 minutes just to transfer some files. It's crazy. It's real crazy. Transfer the hub from the other USB-C to the one that's closer. So there's not as much tension on the cord. Okay, let's test out the transfer speeds. This 150 megabyte video. Oh, that's pretty quick. 35 megabytes a second. That was fast. Megabytes is this, 244. Yeah, it, it's moving, it's moving real fast. But can it do two large files at the same time from two different SD cards at the same time? Um, this is kind of a rare scenario. This probably is not something that you would be doing often, but let me try it out. If we look here, that's about a gigabyte of files. And then I'm gonna do a gigabyte of files from the video card as well. All right, two files transferring simultaneously. That's pretty good. That is pretty fast. And it's moving. It is moving. Nice, very good speeds. Very, very good speeds. All right, so the final test here is gonna be what will happen when we try to use a uh, Samsung external drive 
with this test here, it, we're, we're hoping that we can get about 200 megabytes of read and write uh, with this plugged into the hub. If that's the case, then we're, we're talking real fast speeds here with this hub, no annoying speed bottlenecks. So far, what we've seen with the SD cards has been very impressive. Okay, we're about to test it out. By the way, great external drive, Samsung uh, T3. I think they already have T4 and T5 now, but this is really good for video editing. It's SSD benchmark. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. I'm gonna select the Samsung SSD T3 and we're gonna test it out. Give it a shot here. All right, it's running. I got it plugged in right there. Flashing. All righty. And oh yeah, that is nice. That is real fast. Oh wow. So there you have it. It does use authentic parts that are genuine, that give it the speed that it needs. You're getting exactly the tech that you're paying for with this product, which I really like. But it's not just that it has good hardware, it also has good aesthetics and good pleasing design. The chassis uses a unibody design, which I really, really like. As you can see, it has uh, a all metal enclosure. So if you go all around it, it's completely metal, which is really, really nice. Uh, they did a phenomenal job with it. So the branding is nice and it's not too flashy. It's just right. And you even have these little icons here that tell you what the actual port does, which is cool. So it's quite impressive how well this little hub operates. Finally, we have good hubs that work. If you guys are in the market for a hub, definitely get one. Now let's take a look at the competitors and see what they have to offer and why I think you should not go with the competitor's option. So the reason why you don't wanna go with the competitor's option is one, quality control. It's a huge problem in the industry. Doesn't matter which USB hub you're trying to get, usually you'll get one and they're lying about the specifications. Uh, so the speed's not good or they don't have enough ports, right? Or they have stupid ports that you probably don't need or they have too many ports. So those are the things you wanna stay away from when buying a USB hub. Well, it has a very good design. The unibody design, I absolutely love. It's nice, simple, it's durable. It means it's gonna last. I like the fact that the hardware does exactly what it says it's gonna do. There's no lying. There's no cheap components being used in this product, which I really appreciate. Um, there are two things that I would like to see. I would like to see a removable USB-C charging cord because this right here, this is the Achilles heel. Once this cord breaks, if it breaks, I take pretty good care of my cords. My cord probably won't break. It would be nice if it was removable. That way we can extend it, make it longer, um, or in case it breaks, so it's fixable. But we didn't get that and that's fine because of all the other great things we got from this hub. I would have enjoyed to see an additional USB-C port on here. So it does have USB-C power delivery. Like let's say you have a 12 inch MacBook that only has one USB-C port and Thunderbolt. You can utilize that one port to charge your MacBook and to have a hub because this port is essentially for charging your computer. So in essence, you have a USB-C hub that doesn't really have a USB-C port on it. So it'd be nice if the hub itself had that port so we can continue to extend the Thunderbolt or continue to extend the USB-C with other devices because sometimes maybe you need an additional port. Maybe, maybe you want to do another hub to go along <laughs> with your hub. That is a thing, that is a real thing. Overall, I am very pleased. I am very, very pleased. They even included this little uh, leather case, which is pretty cool. You put, put it on and it you know helps protect your device. I, I do like that. And when you get the Indobble Hub, I mean, it's a pretty good value. 60 bucks without the 40% uh, discount code. Uh, but if you do follow the links in the description below, you get um, up to 40% off, which is really nice. Um, so check it out. If you're in the market for help, just check it out. It's pretty good. I, I think you guys might actually like it. If you guys know of better hubs, please leave a comment down below. I would like to see it. If you have found something that is a worthy competitor, I would like to check it out. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments, I am standing by to have a chat with you guys. So please leave a comment down below. I would love to talk to you guys about these products. 
And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Cheers.